welcome guys to another book review session in today's book review session i am looking into a book which i read a while ago it's the millionaire next door and the book has two authors it's written by thomas j stanley and william d danko the book was first published in 1996 and the book looks into the habits, behaviors, and lifestyle of millionaires, ordinary millionaires. It, it dials down into just looking at the lifestyle that you would expect people to be millionaires, millionaire people, or people who have net worth of about, above a million to be living an extravagant life. For instance, buying luxury cars, buying luxury clothing, everything. But it's actually the opposite of that. The key themes of the book is actually teaching you how to attain a, a millionaire status. So there are quite a few lessons that the book goes into and how to actually step by step on how to acquire a millionaire status to just to mention a few the book looks into living below your means wealth is is more than just income a self-made millionaire time and consistency pragmatic choices those are the things that the book delves into that's the key themes of the book the seven common uh, it also goes into the seven seven common triumphs of millionaires which of course is living below their means and they allocate their time energy and money efficiently they believe financial independence is more important than displaying a high social status they are Parents did not provide them with economic, with economical out, outpatient care, like financial handouts or supports. Their adult children are financially independent. They are proficient in targeting market opportunities. They choose the right occupation that helped them build their wealth. So yeah, these are the seven common traits of uh, millionaires. You'll be a neighbor to someone and you'll see them driving an old Toyota Corolla or whatever, a Toyota Prius or whatever. And you would think they, they broke and everything and you for all you know they, they are millionaires they are just that's how their lifestyle is okay the key lessons that that really you can take away from the book is basically as i've said the, the theme is living below your means the book goes into details in 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 emphasizing that millionaires typically live frugally uh, spending less uh, than they end they avoid temptation to display wealth and status through luxury items focusing instead of saving and investing that's what it means living below your means another thing that the book delves into is wealth wealth it emphasizes that wealth is what you keep not what you spend so you do not show that you are wealthy by spending your money a high income doesn't necessarily make you wealthy if you're spending most of it uh, millionaires often accumulate wealth through diligent savings rather than showcasing it building wealth requires discipline not high consumption so yeah that, that that's those are some of the things that the book goes into it also teaches you to avoid lifestyle inflations most of the time people when they are promoted from work they want to they want their lifestyle to change 
to accommodate their promotion. Let's say you move from it being a supervisor to a manager or from a manager to a director. The next thing you want to do is upgrade your car from a Toyota to a, a Mac or something more expensive. Then you want to move from your uh, three bedroom house and to a mansion of 12 bedroom and you want to eat out every single day and then you just change and you want to wear a branded clothing and, and all that stuff you want to buy expensive watch and you start drinking expensive whiskey you go from uh, drinking a ten dollar wine to drinking a hundred dollar wine so yeah it, the book teaches you to avoid those traps because if every time your income increases and you increase your lifestyle expenses it becomes very difficult to accumulate wealth and to try and become a millionaire and hit that millionaire status the book also considers uh, investing it also teaches you and goes into the importance of investing wisely and consistently Millionaire, millionaires typically invest a, a large portion of their income usually safe in a, usually in a safe long-term investment like stocks real estate or business you know the book also goes into details about how millionaires save save most of them you find that their saving percentages are really, really high some of them save to about 50 percent to a high of about 50 percent of their income you know and then the other 58 percent it's just living expenses and everything so the book it really really gets into your step-by-step -step process on how to achieve a millionaire status and the book also goes into details on how to choose your careers it shows that millionaires usually choose careers which they are able to grow in and they are also able to grow their income it's either those careers or they are self-employed those are the two main strategies that millionaires when they try to achieve a millionaire status it's either you're self-employed or you have you are in a career where your earning potential increases dramatically maybe over year over the years and it also the book also goes into details about being uh, self-sufficient and how crucial it is to be self-sufficient uh, many millionaires do not receive financial support from their parents and they do and they don't provide financial handouts to their children so yeah they drive that self-sufficient self-sufficiency from themselves to their children they transfer it yeah so the book yeah it i think it's a really good book if you want to grow your world your wealth steadily and in a safe way and it also touches a bit on financial planning and how crucial it is to meticulously plan your finances and it teaches you about budgeting and tracking your expenses and and being aware of your financial situation or on what you can afford and what you can buy and what you cannot afford it also goes deep in details on how you can avoid debt and high leveraging yourself to a point where if anything goes wrong you end up uh, uh, filing for bankruptcy so the book also teaches you to understand the burden of uh, debt and how it limits your financial freedom yeah i think yeah how that's a lot i think without giving 
anything much that's basically what the book is about it also goes into teaching you that timing is not the way to to invest but over the time not timing matters in investing millionaires believe in long-term investing than rather trying to time the market timing the market is a fool's game no one can time the market but you to be able to constantly grow your world you need to be constant constantly <laughs> You need to be constantly invested in the stock market because you don't know what tomorrow brings. You may time the market right now and say, okay, this is the perfect time to invest and then you just invest and then the next day there's a crash or whatever and you lose all your capital. But if you average your investment, let's say you invest every month a, a certain amount then you do not care what the market does, whether it goes up or goes down, it doesn't matter because you have averaged your investment. So never time the market. So that's basically what the book goes into details and those are the things that the book teaches. If you want to get the book, it's a great book. It's only about 250 to 300 pages, if I'm not mistaken it's really a soft read it's really a soft read compared to the last book i did which was security analysis by benjamin graham and david dot i think yeah if i'm not mistaken that was my last book review that one was a tough read but if you want to get the book i'll leave a link in the description below and you can click it and just get the book Anyway, if you enjoy these videos, please do not hesitate to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so that you do not miss our next videos because we have a variety of videos on the channel. Until the next video, peace, I'm out.